Yeah. I think uh, truly excited to be here. Some of you may have uh, heard the news that we announced yesterday. So for those who have not, uh, we have uh, crossed our milestone that we set three years ago, which is to reach $1 billion in GMV. Again, uh, I think this kind of proves what we have always been saying since a very long time, which is uh, uh, e-commerce is going to be more disruptive than anybody thinks it's going to be. It's going to be, it's going to change. India. It's going to change the way we think about buying, about transacting in a, in a way that has never happened in any other geography before uh, in the world. Um, and I, I'll, I'll talk more about that. Um, so when I think uh, we, uh, we reaching, um, we going from a $10 million company to a billion dollar company in three years, which is basically 100 times growth, uh, is is kind of we it, it kind of shows our focus on scale. We have been really focusing on scaling things up, making sure that we are able to deliver faster to more geographies, to more customers. We are able to get handle more traffic on our platforms. We are able to get more and more products, more sellers, all kinds of scaling uh, uh, scaling up that we have been focusing on the last uh, three years, right? So scale has been the core focus, and, and we love scale at Flipkart. Um, but now, with this conference, actually, we are shifting gears. And already we have started shifting gears in some areas, but, but now we are formally shifting gears towards intelligence than from just scale. And, and there are a few reasons for that, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. Why, uh, why, firstly, we are talking about intelligence, and then and not just why intelligence, but how do we think that we are in a good position to capture the true power of intelligence and, and why Flipkart is in a good position for to do that, right? So firstly, let me go take you guys through uh, how the customer has evolved, right? When Bini and I started Flipkart in 2007, those were like the dark ages of e-commerce. As I don't know, some of you would have shopped at that point of time. I'm sure most of you would have not even thought of about shopping at that time, it's, it it was it was a uh, it was an experience where pe only when you were desperate to buy something and you were not able to get something uh, that thing anywhere else, would you even think about shopping online? So it was like it e-commerce doesn't work. That was the mindset of the consumers at that point of time. E-commerce just doesn't work. It's a black hole where money goes in. You don't know when things will come out. If things will come out ever. Uh, if a product will be delivered. So that was a stage at which we started uh, Flipkart. And we started focusing on one problem at a time, trying to fix it. We took it to a second stage, which is it works. So it is not a black hole anymore. You actually place an order, you actually get it. Right? So that, that, that's the second stage uh, in which we took it after uh, a, few, uh, a few years. Uh, and over the, over the last three years, we have taken to it to a very different stage. We have essentially taken it from it works to it is a good experience. Um, I would still not say that we have been able to provide a great or delightful experience, and I think we are still on the way of doing that, but it's a good experience today. So when it, when it comes to good experience, the definition of that for me is that uh, there is reliability, there is transparency, I know what is happening with my orders, I know about the products, I can search, I can browse, I can search and browse on multiple platforms, I can call up the customer support and get a decent uh, answer. Uh, I think that that's where we have kind of reached. And, and that's one of the things that is actually leading to a lot of growth also. And it's, 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 a, it's a good experience today. E-commerce has reached that stage uh, at Flipkart. But I think the next, next steps which I'm going to talk about is, is, is how do we get to delight? And, and the definition of delight for the Indian market, why I feel is not really a nice to have, it's actually a must have. And, and, and I'll talk about that. Let's, let's look at what India is right now and, and where India is in the, as relative and uh, to global scheme of things, right? One is, first big aspect of India is that India is very mobile. Internet in India is about mobile. Um, re rest of the world, 70% traffic comes from desktops, 30% from mobile. In India, it's the other way around. 
70% of India's internet traffic is on mobile, and 30% is on is on desktops and PCs. That's one huge difference. Second is that the audience in India is a younger audience. Average age of Indians is 25 years, right? A uh, lot of Indians which are now getting into uh, um, getting becoming earning citizens are actually digital natives. What that means is that when they went to school uh, 15 years ago or, or 20 years ago, they actually had computers in their schools. They started with that. And in fact, if I look at people of current generation, my, uh, I have a four-year-old son and, and he just doesn't understand keyboards. He understands only touch screen devices. Right? He wants to touch the TV as well right? uh, and, and want to use it that way. So they are much more digitally uh, uh, aware generation is coming as uh, as 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 uh, younger and younger people are getting into uh, into jobs and 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 started becoming our customers. Another big thing about India is that it's diversity. Um, it's diverse uh, from not just from a geography point of view. There are geographical differences between east and west and north and south and all kinds of differences. But not, but from education levels, income levels, uh, language that Indians uh, understand and speak and read are different across different geographies. Now, what that means is that if there are, let's say, three segments of consumers that you can target in a Western economy, in India it will be like 100 segments. If you, if you just take all kinds of, if you want to just use large segmentation based on these uh, parameters, right? So, amount of segments which are actually behave very differently and what that does is that within those segments the the product products and the service levels that those customers want are actually very different every segment will have its own expectations of what kinds of products they want what kind of service levels are acceptable for them so and and at flipkart our aim is not to target a particular segment we want to be we want to make shopping delightful for everybody that's our that's our core purpose so when it comes to that, we, we really need to uh, be able to actually customize our services and our products for, uh, for everybody, not just for a few set of customers, right? So that is, that is one part of, uh, uh, but, but which, is, which is pretty unique to India as compared to the rest of the world. It's, it's even more unique as compared to, uh, to China, uh, right? So another big thing that is very different in India is that, uh, that there is no physical retail or almost no physical retail. Physical retail penetration in India is less than 5% of the overall retail. So, so, so it's just almost non-existent. So, and, and, and we have seen that in the past in India. Actually, in, in India, we have seen IT services as an industry growing before manufacturing became an industry in India. Um, fr from agriculture straight away to IT, IT services. Uh, another thing that happened is in telecom. Before landline phones could really reach the masses, we straight away went to uh, to mobile phones, right? Before cable TV could reach the masses, we straight away went to satellite uh, uh, TV. In fact, you see satellite television in like every village. You will see a satellite dish on top of a very small house uh, in every village, right? So, so, so th that's the so India's technology adoption rate is generally, uh, we have seen that in the past is very high. So we actually at Flipkart, we believe that before the disorganized retail becomes organized, it will move to e-commerce. So it will probably skip that completely. Um, the retail part getting organized in India, it will straight away move to e-commerce. What that means for us is that, that if e-commerce is the future of India, and what that means is that the, the kind of user behavior that's seen in the Western world, will be different from the user behavior of India. Just to give you a very simple example, uh, things like window shopping offline and buying online, which are the things which are very prevalent in the Western economies, that's just not possible. Right? The window shopping problem or discovery of the product which the consumers want to do has to be solved by e-commerce companies themselves. So that, does, that is not a nice to have, which is probably true for a Western uh, e or, or, or more developed e-commerce uh, e uh, markets uh, where retail is also very organized. I think the discovery problem has to be also solved by, uh, by e-commerce if it has to become mainstream. 
and and uh, uh, and these are the opportunities that uh, um, uh, that are in front of us so delight actually is not really a uh, nice to have it's, it's it's a necessity for us that that we want to solve and and another big thing that is happening is that uh, the the rate at which in the last 5 years the compute power the memory cost the the cost of storage all those things have come down so much in the last 5 years things like machine learning at scale which was just not possible 5 years ago are actually very much a reality today and 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 actually we have the advantage as a company to grow in a uh, in a world where machine learning is actually not science fiction but actually it's a it's a reality or artificial intelligence is not science fiction right so so we are kind of in a world where not just uh that we have opportunities in front of us uh but we actually can make it financially viable also to 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 do uh to do intelligence at scale so 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 that's that's one large part of uh, uh of intelligence another um um yeah so uh, one thing for i think if if you look at it if you look at flipkart from outside and i've and i think i think it's and i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't i think when you look at flipkart from outside and the way we have built flipkart is that we have tried to make it very simple very fast quick we don't tell you a lot of things of what goes actually to to make it happen in the back end right i mean we customers don't really get to know and we really don't want them to know about that but if if flipkart like looks at, looks like a s simple e-commerce website from from the outside in the way when we are look when we are looking at flipkart from inside it looks like a massive data generation engine that's what flipkart looks like to us from inside and we collect huge amount of data for about you uh, we know where um, where you live we know which products you browse for we know which products you bought we know which products you were looking when you were buying some other product we know which products are complementary to the products that you have bought before we know um uh we know in uh, with mobile we know your gps location uh and maybe as samsung puts more and more sensors into their phones we'll know more and more about you as uh, uh, maybe mood sensors one day right we'll know your mood changes over that period of time right so so lots of things uh we know we know we have this huge amount of data available with us in fact i sometimes joke with vinny right and and that that amount of data that we have actually allows us to do crazy things and i'll give you an example of crazy thing which probably maybe not be useful but uh, maybe useful also uh, is that we just by looking at our data with decent amount of like uh, probability we should be able to predict which two people are actually married together right or living in actually <laughs> it will be interesting to see how that uh, is possible but but i think we we should be able to predict that again how do we use that we don't know i mean but this is a this is a kind of things that we can actually do um and combine that with cheap compute power available cheap storage cheap uh, memory available and and uh, the amount of open source tools that are available today and the uh, and the strength of engineers that we have i think i we have a, we have a massive opportunity to actually use that data to create better products to make our consumers lives easy uh, to make uh, more and more people not just buy online and getting get the products shipped to them but also uh, help them um, another example of how this data can be used again uh, i i'll i'll probably come up with very simple example i'm sure people in my team can come up with much more richer examples is let's say i'm sitting at the bangalore airport and and uh, and waiting for my for catching my flight flipkart sends me a notification uh knowing that most probably this is a day time and i'm at bangalore airport so it's going to be a domestic flight so sends you a notification with a book which can be finished in 2 hours right um so th those kinds of things uh or i have logged in to flipkart using facebook and facebook knows my marriage anniversary and 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 uh, and flipkart gets to know that information and when i am calling customer support uh the customer support suggests that 
uh, sir, why don't you take uh, next day delivery because you may then miss your gift if you, if, if you don't take that. Right? So without me even asking, without me even telling him. Right? So those kinds of things become possible. Again, not very deep examples, but, but actually we can actually go crazy with uh, these things in the future. Right? So I think we believe that e-commerce is the future. It is the way Indians will shop and, uh, and we want to make it happen. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I hope you have a good time today. And uh, over, to, over to Mandy to taking it further.